Bobbo Goes to School by Shirley Hughes It was Monday morning and Mum was loading the washing machine. Lily wasn't helping. She was hiding Bobbo amongst the towels and sheets. Oh, do stop that, Lily, said Mum, or I'll never get this done. Lily stopped, but then she started to throw Bobbo into the air and catch him by the leg. Bobbo could tell it was going to be one of Lily's bad days. After Mum had turned on the washing machine, it was time to go shopping. She pulled Lily's sweater over her head and pushed her arms through the sleeves. Lily did not help. She went all limp like a rag doll. Shall we take Bobbo? said Mum. I'm sure he'd like to come. Lily stopped going limp and together they looked for Bobbo. They found him hiding under a cushion. At last, they were ready to set off. While Lily and Bobbo were waiting on the pavement for Mum to open up the buggy, they saw a school bus draw up. The driver got out and helped the children jump on board. Then he got in again and started the engine. Just as the bus was pulling away, Lily did a dreadful thing. She swung Bobbo round and round by his leg and threw him high into the air, just like that. Bobbo flew up head first and landed smack on the roof of the bus, just as it was pulling out into the traffic. Lily and Mum were too shocked to move. They both stood there and watched as the bus gained speed and disappeared. Bobbo! I want him back! wailed Lily. But it was too late. Bobbo was gone. Lily and Mum rushed back indoors and Mum got on the phone straight away. She spoke to the lady at the school and told her that Bobbo would soon be arriving on top of the bus and would they please rescue him. Lily cried and cried. He might fall off and get run over, she howled. And I won't see him again, ever. In fact, Bobbo had not fallen off. He was lying face up, rushing along very fast and looking up at the sky. Sometimes he slipped a bit, but he stayed on board. This was all rather exciting for Bobbo. He had never travelled on a bus without Lily before. Down below, children laughed and chatted and looked out of the bus window. They would never have imagined that Bobbo was riding on the roof of their bus. Soon they arrived at the school. The driver pulled up near the entrance doors and that sent Bobbo straight into a bush. It felt like being a bird. For a moment, he thought he was a bird. He felt rather tired after all this excitement, so he just lay there, swaying gently and wondering what would happen next. What an extraordinary day this was turning out to be for Bobbo. Back at home, Lily's day was going from bad to worse. Mum telephoned the school again, but the lady who answered said the driver had looked on top of the bus and no soft toy had been found there. Lily wept. It was terrible to think that she had thrown away her oldest, dearest friend. I want Bobbo back now, she sobbed. Meanwhile, as Bobbo was resting amongst the leaves, the school children came out to play. A little girl called Natasha, who was playing under the bush with her friend, found Bobbo and handed him in to the teacher. All the children crowded round and made a great fuss of him. No one knew where he had come from. So they took him to their classroom and put him in a special place on the interest shelf where he could see everything. He sat there for the rest of the morning while the children did counting and drew pictures and listened to a story. When the lady in the school office heard that Bobbo had been found, she telephoned Mum and Lily and they drove to the school straight away. Lily was allowed to go into the classroom to collect him. When she saw him on the interest shelf, she ran straight over and hugged him tightly. Then the teacher and children showed Lily what they had been doing with Bobbo. They told her they had been playing a game. 
They were trying to guess what his name was. Each of them had written their guess down. Rex, Binks, King Arthur, Barney, Ringo, Nosy, Mr. Floppy Ears. Lily told them that none of them had got it right because his name was Bobbo. She was very happy when she thanked them and said goodbye. Oh, what a relief that we found him, said Mum when at last they arrived back home. I think he liked it at school. And you'll like it too, Lily, when you're old enough to go there. Lily was hugging Bobbo very tightly, pressing her face against his nose. I'll never, never throw you away again, she whispered. Bobbo said nothing. Lily's bad day had turned out well after all.